Hey guys, how's it going on? That's Socially Awkward Gamer. You probably forgot it existed, loves with Patty Jack, and let's play some Hearthstone, have some talks, you know, the general stuff that usually gets done when I get really bored, want to upload something, but don't want to put in a whole lot of effort. You know. Mostly because I gotta work later and I'm just so freaking tired. It's been a crazy few weeks, to be entirely honest. I'm just gonna turn down the volume a little bit here. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, Spin. Hey, his name is Patty too. That's funny. Patty Matt and Patty Jack. That's hilarious. Kind of. I think it's funny. Screw you if you don't. All right. So this is the legendary druid deck, and as you can see, it's full of well legendaries. It does terrible things. Terrible. Like it. It doesn't do terrible things to other people usually. Usually, just terrible things happen. Probably have a terrible win-loss rate with this deck, but it's fun to play anyways. And we got Alarma bots, so here's hoping he doesn't play anything. <laughs> and we can get like a rag out. That'd be neat. We'd probably get Baron, and then we'd cry. Ah, uh, that's not what I want to see. Uh, ooh, Pagel is the one thing that survives. Okay. <laughs> Go, Pagel! Do it. Do your thing. Although we can actually kill it now that I think about it, but it's no waste of his turn. Kind of. As it stands, I'm waiting till turn six to do anything. Something needs tinkering? Okay, this is not gonna go well for me. <laughs> what am I gonna do? He actually did. Okay, he kept the Pagel alive, which is interesting. Hmm. Should I toss out the Alarma bot? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of all I can do. I don't see this game going very well at all. He'd be an idiot to not take that thing out. Yeah, he's going to trade his stuff out now. That's fair. Did I get anything? I got uh, I got the I got the ruby. I'm rich. Why? Okay, it's a mech deck, I guess, but eh. that's a weird card. I don't like that card at all. Okay. <laughs> uh I should play my other legendary deck because it's actually got some removal in it and things actually happen. But nope, gotta be stuck playing Baron Riven there. Kind of my only hope next is probably playing Moger and then <laughs> seeing what happens. He's gonna actually. I think it's kind of a waste of a Hammer of Wrath. I mean, yeah, no, I don't agree with that. That's weird. Oh, that's a that's a great idea. Give a Wind Fury card. Some card draw. That is actually a good idea. I'm learning lots today, apparently. Jesus, he's swimming in cards. Okay, yeah, pretty much my only hope right now is Moger time. Let's see if this has any effect on anything. Because he didn't really have direct removal. Yeah, yeah, he has that. And then he's got to rely on his Dwarven... I mean, not, no, his Tinkertown Technician is the card's name. Take it. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, There's probably this radish. He probably cursed us. Let's see. The fish. I like how the fish tail, like, clips into the freaking teleporter. It's the Unity engine at its finest. All right, this didn't work <laughs> at all. <laughs> I can see. Not at all. Let's not do that again. No play. That's scary. That's the problem doing legendaries. You like you play cards. Well, you don't play cards, and then they play cards. 
then when you can play cards, it doesn't matter because you're already dead. But that's why I have two legendary decks, and we're going to switch it over to V1.0, which actually kind of does things. I actually like, got to round two in a tournament using it, so... <laughs> and round two is really impressive for me, so don't even... I'm slightly more confident now. I don't know. I've been playing Hearthstone much. It's like... Well, I've been busy the last few days, and I've been, like, working, new job, learning that. Had it off. I went and saw Jurassic World yesterday. Man, that movie is mediocre. <laughs> it's... No, it, it's good. It's re It really is good. But... It's not, like... Like, it's not, it's not a good movie. It's just a good movie. Yeah, it's not good t in a technical aspect. It's got a lot of plot holes in it. And the dinosaurs look cool. And Chris Pratt's there, and he's training raptors. So that's a thing. That's not a spoiler, because it's very evident in the trailer. So, you know. It was a good movie, though. I enjoyed it. What we got? We got a better spear. Coin Defias is like the ultimate rogue play. Right, well, wild growth. Rogues are also sucky to play against when you're doing like a a deck like this because they kill you so quickly and then you just kind of lose. Eh, eh, we got the eyeball. Hey, bro, is it? Does he just stay there if we don't click on him? I really want to click on him too, though, as which is the annoying part. Yeah, he just kills there. Just whatever he wants. That's cool. I can respect that. Okay, that Annoyatron has made things even more irritating. Kinda gotta hope for like a swipe here or something. Nice thing about Drew removal though is it's also like a pseudo heal. So a lot of the time I can go down pretty low early game and then kinda explode back into the game later. But this doesn't look like it will be one of those cases because it's just not looking so great. Right? I'm not looking so hot right now. For the wild. Yeah, really it's all about getting up to that turn six hump. If you can do that, then you're just kind of, then you're like sailing. If you can get like Emperor Thoros on out there. Usually I get more removal and I can just take care of those guys, but I haven't really been getting it. Glory to the oh, that's not nice. Don't agree with that, although I would love to have a swipe right now. Oh, we so helpful. Nope, we're not gonna get it. Okay. Hmm. Moker time? Let's see, that's 6, 7, that's 10, 11, 12, 13. Moker time! This is not going well so far. He come back again? Does he just keep coming back? <laughs> he gets so angry, too. <laughs> and if you just keep clicking, then he magically reappears. <laughs> He can't go back under the water. I just keep stopping him. I'm gonna be like a hot tub, though. You coming back? You are. See, you got like a little hot tub going on. He's just chilling. You got dragons? No dragon. I don't know what this guy's. Yeah, he's trying to kill Moger. Oh, he's banking on... Yeah, no. Okay, he's doing a good job of killing me, though. And that's not good. I guess I probably lived through this turn, but there's very slim chance of coming back from this. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Okay, so that's... Ten. Yeah, I'm screwed. Balls. 
I can see. Okay, let's not do legendary decks, because those don't work at all. Like, zero percent. It could just not be my day, too, and it could be the recording. Curse. Like, <laughs> every time, I'm doing fine, hit record, and then it's all downhill from there. But let's try an actual deck that's, like, that I usually can win with. <laughs> And if nothing else, it usually ends up being a really fun game. This is um, this mage deck is like a really uh, comeback oriented one. I find that usually I lose the early game and most of the mid game, but then kind of get it back right uh, towards the end game and can and can kind of like uh, survive and really get back into it and build up a lot really quickly. Kind of like neutralize all his threats as well. But it is a little bit slow building. And I made some recent edits to it too, so. I threw in a Hobgoblin. Because I had a couple Mono Worms. And the Annoyatron. I got du I'm running duplicates too, so I, if I end up with more Mono Worms, then throw out a Hobgoblin and all of a sudden things go to hell. So we'll toss out the Mono Worm. Baby coin into a counter spell next turn. Yeah, I'm only, only running Counterspell and Duplicate for Secrets in this deck. Yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. Worth it, I don't want them getting those Mech Warpers out. They become a nuisance. And as I say that, there's a reason they become annoying. Okay. We get rid of that one too? Probably. We get, we'll throw it in an unstable portal. We'll see what we get though. Shadow Boxer. Okay, well, something else I can put on the board. That's what matters, but yeah, getting those mech warpers out of there really hampers how fast he can build up his board. So those are gone now, and we still have like minor board control, and and that counter spell is gonna stop him right now. It burned his hammer of wrath too, so that's a trade up. So can't be angry about that. That was his whole turn wasted. I'm gonna toss out the hobgoblin. Eh, might as well, right? Normally I'd save him till like late game when I have other things, but we're kind of. Lack, we were lacking for board control, and I guess the Paladin won't be able to knock down his little uh, Silverhand recruits. Magic detected. Then he tosses that out, and I can't get rid of it with a spell, so we're gonna toss out the Water Elemental. Think of that. Let's see, Consecration's a four drop, so. And you toss out the Loatheb instead. Because if I run those guys in, then, then I'm in Consecrate range. And I'd rather keep these guys alive for another turn, so... That's what we're gonna do. Toss out Loatheb. And then run these guys in. They don't die, and likelihood of him being able to use any type of spell is, like, out the window. The gates are open. And then there's that. But we can polymorph it. Yeah, okay, that's that is definitely what's gonna happen. One hundred percent. Or we could drop Emperor Thoris on. Hmm. And then trade up the Loatheb. Might be a better idea, actually. Build up a lot more board momentum a lot quicker that way. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Sounds kind of weird, but... It also kind of doesn't make our board really that useful to... Like, there's, there's not enough high-profile minions on the board to um, really warrant a lot of removal. So he's, got, he's probably gonna concentrate on one instead, and Pally's... 
they really don't have a lot of like high value single removal. Yeah, so you could do that and then okay. Yeah, so Thorazon stays alive, which is a very good thing. Okay, unstable portal sounds like a plan. Violet Teacher. Should we hold on to that? Hmm. I think we'll drop it out there. One mana, why not? And then we're gonna ping the recruits. Let's keep our Thorason in the hand. Get that flame strike down to like three mana would be amazing. Yeah, just get a, get on a Hearthstone kick every once in a while and play it forever, and then I end up not playing it at all. I'm playing Pillars of Eternity lately, and it's crazy. Okay, that thing is getting polymorphed, 100%. Yeah, I got Pillars of Eternity. It's that RPG by Obsidian, and like a top-down one. It, it is fantastic. Loving absolutely every second of it. Emperor Thorazon doing work. This is why you gotta get rid of him early. I'm a one cost water elemental, that's not good. Well, it's great for me, but. Yeah, Pillars is fantastic. I highly recommend it for anyone that wants like a really D&D oriented RPG. Yeah, like, it actually kind of feels like you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. It, it really does. Like, I, I don't mean like in a gamey sense either. It feels like you're actually playing the tabletop version at some points. It's really interesting. Okay. So what to do here? I think the sensible thing is really just get rid of everything on his board and keep pounding away at him. Because I don't want to drop these things on because if I do then he's going to reduce all their health and then con then do his Consecrate bullshit. And I'd rather lose a lot less from it. I'd rather bait out a Consecrate like in this situation. Because then I can fall back on other things. Okay, Force Tank again. Two Force Tanks, that's weird. He's weird. But the nice thing... Oh, this is dirty. So I can actually, that's going to be 5 damage. Oh, uh, this is dirty, but I'm going to do it because it's hilarious. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I'm going to kill him off anyways. Do that. And then we're going to flame strike. And then trade out. And we can still ping you off. We still have board control, too. And we have a crap ton of mirror images if we need some taunts. And he's gotta be running out of heals. He probably has like a true silver champion, maybe, but... Doesn't trade well against Thorson. It's really all he trade against is the Drake. He'll still be taking two damage. Oh, God! <laughs> who... Who... Uh, who runs Bolvar? Honestly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. So, I I'm think I'm think we're gonna just drop a Sneeds. Or should we drop the... We'll drop the Auctioneer. Then we'll get some card draw out of him. Get our mirror entities out. If the game doesn't freeze and die. <laughs> okay, is that enough to kill him? That's five, six, that's ten, that's seventeen. Not quite enough, but we can possibly kill him next turn. I shall do as you say. And so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And just gonna ping him. 
We're just going to ignore Bolvar and, ho and hope he just kind of feathers out of existence and hope to God that you don't have one of the thousands of Consecrates you probably, <laughs> you most definitely have. Okay. That's not so bad. We can still win from that scenario. Okay, so we pretty much win that. That's good. Can't be angry about that at all. Alright. Make sure I do this right. <laughs> that. That. And then you get to explode. Man, what is with this game right now? <laughs> it's crapping itself. Oh yeah, that's good. Kind of took control of that match for the entirety of it. Again, again, who runs a Bolvar? Like, it's good when you can get it out like that, but... Uh, it's just, unless you get it early, it's just not a good card. 